today we'll be looking at the new deluxe version of Mike Oldfield's Incantations album. This is the third year of remasters we've had from Mike Oldfield beginning in 2009 with Tubular Bells which came in a lovely big box set. Then last year we had Ergus Ridge and Omidor in a lovely deluxe set with a surround sound DVD version enclosed on both of those and this year it's time for incantations um, well you know incantations for me is probably one of Oldfield's lesser works or one of his works that's often forgotten overshadowed by um, tubular bells obviously and uh, Omidon and um, and for me you know yeah when I put it on I become very entranced by the hypnotic nature of the recording you know it's a big debt owed to Philip Glass and the minimalist movement I think you'll agree um, when I heard this was coming out I pre-ordered it immediately because I was very impressed with last year's remasters so I was really looking forward to receiving this and it was only today when I, I received this that I discovered that the, um, the actual album itself hadn't been remixed or uh, remixed from the master tapes for surround sound because it turns out that the original masters had been lost or whatever and so the surround sound DVD you get with this isn't like the, it re the previous reissues you only get uh, a couple of the tracks you know, fragments of the tracks from the album that have been remixed so I was a little bit disappointed by that um, I'll go through it disc by disc to give you an idea of what you can expect. The, the first disc contains the, 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 the full Incantations album you know, from 1978, but this time it's been it's a new remastered edition. There's no remix involved, it's just been remastered, so it's been you know cleaned up and given a little bit of sonic oomph. Yeah, and it, it sounds very nice. It's much better than my previous version I had. I did one of the early... CD editions from way back when, not the not the the previous uh, reissue that came out in 2000, I think. But um, I had one of the older discs, so it, immediately it scores points because it sounded a lot cleaner and a lot clearer for me. Uh, and they tacked on they've tacked on "Guilty" as a bonus track on the end. So um, yeah, I mean it's a it's it's a good remaster it sounds nice and you know if you're not familiar with the album it's the best version you're going to hear uh, the second disc uh, contains well it's kind of a disc of two halves really uh, the first half of this are, are kind of working versions of the tracks that you you hear in incantations um, in fact yeah the first the first five tracks are kind of demos or rough mixes or whatever you want to call it of material that you hear in, in on the album uh, and yeah it's you know it's it's nice enough you hear a variation on, on the themes the the piano improvisation the third track is probably the most interesting because you hear a lot of the themes from the album and almost echoes of, of his future work in it you know you, you can almost hear you know bits of platinum and and QE2 kind of coming through on, on the improvisation, I think it's a quite a, quite an interesting track for, for Oldfield fans. Um, you've also got uh, remastered versions of the William Tell Overture, Cuckoo Song, Pipe Tune, Recorder Rondo, Guilty, as well. So um, those are, I think, are singles and B-sides, which we've all heard before, but again have been cleaned up and you know sound very very sparkly. So you know it all sounds very nice. Uh, the third disc in the set is the DVD uh, and this is the thing I always put on first because I'm a bit of a, a DVD uh, surround sound freak. Uh, I've become quite a fan of um, DVD surround sound reissues uh, over the years. I wasn't a fan to begin with, I thought it was a bit of a gimmick but then you know, I heard the Genesis uh, remixes in surround sound a few years ago and I revised my opinion on surround sound mix and I really do believe it's very often the best way to hear an album these days especially you know if you've got the setup if you've got a surround sound system you might as well 
you know, give it a spin just to hear what the albums are like. And with this, again, my initial disappointment was I wasn't going to hear the full Incantations album in surround sound. And that is a great shame with this because I think Incantations would have lended itself very well to the 5.1 surround sound treatment. Uh, what with the um, the vibraphone and the, the semi-orchestral nature of the music, I think it would have really opened up the recording and given a sense of space. And, you know, it's, it's a real shame that those, those master tapes are lost. However, you do get these working uh, these working tracks um, again they're fragments from the album and they're presented here in 5.1 and, and indeed it does open up the recording and this is why it's even more of a bittersweet uh, release for me because you, you have a glimpse of what it could have been like what it could have been if it had had it yeah my favourite uh, track or part of Incantations is the, the second part of, of of side two, uh, which features the Hiawatha poem by Longfellow. Uh, that's featured here in surround sound. It is, again, it's, 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 it, it does give a glimpse of what the album could have been like if it had been mixed in the 5.1 and was quite hypnotic and you know transported me away. Um, the extra tracks you know, sound perfectly fine my only issue is with the is with the final track on it, which is which is a new version of Guilty. Uh, to me, it sounds like um, it's been slowed down somewhat. It's probably just my imagination. The thing about the original version of Guilty is it had a certain disco sensibility, and its stereo mix was quite dense, and that added a certain momentum uh, to the track. And they've opened it up here. And you lose a sense, you lose a lot of that sense of impact. It's gone. And also, towards the end of the track, there's some new guitar that's been buried in the mix that comes out. It's Oldfield doing the lead line. He's trying to like kind of say guilty using his guitar, and it just sounds plain weird. I mean, it might have already been in the mix, buried somewhere. I've never noticed it before, uh, but I noticed it today. Um, you also get. A pro uh, extra bonus content, the first part of which is the uh, promotional video for his single of the William Tell Overture, which features multiple Mike Oldfields playing the different instruments. And my young son, um, he really enjoyed that. I think he was quite taken by the many different Mike Oldfields on the screen. Um, this is followed by um, a live version of the album. Now, this was previously released as the exposed DVD in 2005 um, so you're getting a, a nice little bonus here if you've never seen that DVD is you get to see Mike Oldfield and his band performing the whole album um, in April 1975 uh, 79 sorry at the Wembley Conference Centre and it's a you know it's a very lively and engaging performance you don't get everything that was on that original exposed DVD but you do get the the actual performance of the album so it's good and that's the follow-up by the final bonus track which is the promotional video uh, for Guilty itself which features lots of bright colourful animations and use of the Quantel video mixing box and again my son really enjoyed it I think it's because it was brightly coloured and had that certain early 1980s um, sensibility which made me feel very old um, so yeah, I mean, you know, coming now to a rating, I mean, I think this is doing the rounds around twelve ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine pounds. Um, and if you've not had the album before or you're thinking of upgrade, it's a very worthy upgrade. You certainly get your money's worth. Um, I mean, again, for a rating, I, I'd give it um, three tubular bells out of five now I'm deducting one tubular bell marking off that purely because I wanted the whole album in 5.1 um, but really I should score it four out of five because it is a good set you know maybe no maybe I should just score it four out of five maybe I'm being mean what do you think maybe I'm just being a bit selfish there but yeah 
I'm going to actually score it four tubular bells out of five because I'm being mean otherwise. Because it is a good set and it would have scored five out of five if it had the whole incantation album in 5.1 just for me. <laughs> but yeah, well worth it. And if you're not a if you're not a fan of the album or you've never heard the album, you know, give it a spin. It's something new for you to try. It's quite different um, from Oldfield's work on tubular bells and Hergis Ridge and Omadorn. What you'll notice is this this album represents a watershed moment in his career um, with uh, Tuba Bells through Omadorn. There was more of an organic uh, work process going on. And in the booklet that comes with the the new release, it details you know what was going on in Mike Oldfield's personal life. And he went on this exegesis um, course which basically breaks down your personality and rebuilds you as a new man getting rid of all those flawed character traits that you you may have carried with you and I think that's quite noticeable in you know listening to Omadorn and then listening to this Omadorn is very organic very natural sounding and this is very precise very organized you know very rhythmic very repetitive very minimalist and you know, whilst it's still a moving, you know, in parts a moving piece of music, some of the soul for me has been lost, and has also lost on on Oldfield's later works. Is this to do with his involvement with the exegesis um, treatment? I don't know. I'm just some guy flapping his mouth, you know, talking about a record. But you know, this record really is a watershed for Oldfield and his his recording career. It's the beginning of a new phase. And I can't wait for the next phase of remasters because um, Platinum and QE2 are the next couple of albums, a couple of my favourites. So uh, maybe they'll be out in another two years. So, um, so yeah, Incantations. It's, I think it's out on Monday actually in, in the UK. So you might want to go and pick it up or order it from your local retailer or whatever it is you do these days. Uh, my name's Darren Luck, and you better prog on.